Today, we are going to do an awesome little video for you on the subject of scintillation. Um, I've been talking with clients. There's a number of different uh, gemstones here that we feature that um, show different types of sparkle scintillation. Uh, in the world of diamonds, you have two different types of scintillation. There is contrast or pattern scintillation, which is scintillation that we see in a diffused type lighting environment, uh, where we see facets illuminate or either, either they're either illuminating or reflecting back head and body shadow. Um, so there's that type of patterning or pattern scintillation. Uh, observed in diffuse lighting, and then you also have uh, another type of scintillation, which m most people are familiar with, and that's very uh, simply described as sparkle scintillation. Okay, and that's the type of scintillation that we see when we're looking at diamonds or moissanites, for that matter, uh, in a spotlighting environment like direct sunlight or LED lights, um, things like that. So we're going to be using, in this example, um, two fancy shapes. One of them is going to be one of the uh, new ideal cut ovals. And another one is going to be uh, what is now called the heritage cushion. It's, okay, it's a rectangular heritage cushion. Um, uh, or or you, it, it could be, you could refer to it as an August vintage cushion as well. But it's a, th these two uh, gems are going to be great examples of the different types of of scintillation that can be observed within diamonds and gemstones. So let's have fun. Okay, so first we're going to tackle the subject of patterned scintillation. Um, well, that's what the, that is what GIA refers to, um, the type of scintillation that we see here in the diffuse lighting environment. And you can't get better than an overcast day, which is what I'm in. Um, so in this comparison, the, uh, the cushion on the left has a higher or we should say um, a stronger contrast patterning. The, the areas of bright white light that we see there is what we refer to as brilliance or more properly brightness now within the, uh, within the diamond and jewelry industry. Um, so this diamond, uh, I'm sorry, this moissanite is cut to have top optics and top brightness, all right, um, within its cutting style and shape. Okay, so the same thing in the diamond equivalent has AGS ideal optics, which is the highest optics you could attain from this shape. But you see the on and off, if I was to say on off patterning, on being the reflections of white light and then off being the darker shades where it's either going to be light leakage or a reflection of head body shadow. <clears throat> as I'm standing before the diamond. So you see a stronger contrast pattern here in the cushion, okay, with ideal optics. And it's absolutely, it's, it's, it's magnificent. It's a beautiful thing to look at. So, whereas the oval now, the oval doesn't have a strong contrast. You can definitely see a pattern of bright um, of bright and dark reflections in the oval also. Uh, just the reflections, the uh, darker reflections are not as frequent or pronounced as they are in the cushion. All right, so here is a great example um, contrasting two different types of patterned scintillation. Okay, and while we can observe this in, the, in a still or static position, you know, it's 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 also observed as we move the gems, okay? So, that is, con we're looking at uh, actually, so two 
optical elements here. We're looking at brightness, the brightness of these gems. By the way, this here and, an, uh, and a diamond would be, and I have ideal optics because it's got edge-to-edge -edge brightness and a beautiful contrast pattern for an oval, for an oval brilliant cut. It is just gorgeous. And among the only ovals that are cut on the market today to exhibit this type of brilliance, this overall brilliance. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So now that we've discussed that in the diffuse lighting environment, <laughs> besides the fact that it's a little cool out here in New York today, we're going to head inside the spotlighting and talk about sparkle scintillation now. Alrighty, so now here I am in the um, in the spotlighting condition, and I'm under an LED lamp, and here is the cushion. Now, here's the deal: we are observing uh, once again two optical characteristics: fire, the quality of the fire within this gem, as well as its sparkle scintillation. Now, as far as the fire is concerned. And the way that we look at this in the industry is, you see those big, chunky facets lighting up with colored light there in that? So the quality of fire in this cushion, it does not get better. <laughs> so if we had to rate the fire of this gem with ideal optics, I mean, it would receive, you know, a 10 plus because its fire is killer. Now, its scintillation, is, it, it's a broad scintillation and slower moving. And it's not necessarily based on how fast I'm moving it like that either. But um, whenever you have big, broad, chunky facets, like you do in ideal cut vintage goodies like this, um, it's a slower moving scintillation. And you're going to see what I mean when I put this one next to it, which is a faster moving scintillation. Okay, so the cushion, this vintage cushion with ideal optics, has a slower moving scintillation pattern because of the larger reflections of light. All right, in the oval, you have very fast moving scintillation because. You could see here, you, you see the reflections of light in the oval aren't as large as they are in the cushion. But the scintillation, you know, for lack of a better word, it is, I mean, it is just off the charts, unbelievable. Really, you know something though, the scintillation in both of them is off the charts, unbelievable. It all, what, what really, so there's no better one here between the two. What's better is what your eyes prefer, okay? Both of them have ideal optics. Both of them do the best job humanly possible of eliminating light leakage, eliminating, uh, uh, head, uh, eliminating head, head and body shadow, which would cause darkness within these gems. Um, but really, that, that's why the best way to... It, it's, it's tough to describe these things, but to show you... This is the best way I could think of to show you. So, do you like the slower moving, larger, broader flashes of the cushion? Or do you like the faster moving scintillation, the skinnier reflections of light, um, and more smaller reflections of scintillation uh, in the oval? And only you can decide that. It's not something that somebody else can decide for you. It's something that you have to see and determine for yourself. You know, of course, the best thing is seeing it live, and, and we back all our products with full cash refund or exchange. So, you know, if, if you order something and you say, oh, I thought I liked that, but I realize I don't like that. Um, but really, the video, every, when we show people on high-definition video like I'm doing for you now, it really is a the best way to help you determine these things before you order. Okay? So, the final thought thing here, and we'll wrap this up. <laughs> so, this demonstration that I showed you today between the cushion and the oval um, can really, it could be applied to really any 
uh, any shape that we're looking at, but primarily when we're comparing modern faceted diamonds to vintage faceted uh, or, or diamonds or moissanites. Um, you know, if I was to show you a modern faceted hearts and arrows round brilliant cut or an ideal cut round brilliant cut next to an ideal cut old European, um, the same kind of comparison would be uh, would be uh, would be there, okay? Because uh, in an old European cut, which is another vintage shape, those any kind of diamond that specializes in large, broad, excuse me, reflections of light. And if it has ideal optics, will show um, a slower moving yet still beautiful scintillation pattern. Whether we're looking at um, contrast or pattern scintillation and then also in sparkle scintillation. But for the most part, um, the grand majority of diamonds that are cut on the market today <coughs> are modern faceted. So a lot of times you're not even going to be making this kind of a comparison. But um, what the kind of comparison we'd be making then when it came to modern faceted gemstones is that between superior cut versus inferior cut. <laughs> because we were just looking at two, two gems that have ideal, ideal optics. Um, but if we were looking at, say, two modern faceted gems one with ideal optics and one without, then there would be a huge difference in the brightness, the pattern scintillation, the fire, and the sparkle scintillation. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Nice short little clip, short, sweet, and to the point. And I hope that's given you a better grasp on the subject here of scintillation. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. If you guys want my services, get in touch with me. <laughs> JonathanWeingarten at gmail.com. Speak to you soon. Thanks again.